long time no see. I have a question. Yes. Can I stay after school uh, Monday to retake the test? Yep. Or do the test? Yep. Sounds good. All right. I loved your comment about Vern. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why it mattered. It doesn't. He's just trying to be difficult. Yeah. Yep. Good morning, Logan. Morning, Michael. Morning, Jordan. We'll wait a couple minutes to have everybody get in here. Okay, so we're going to start on the warm-up, so pull that up so that we can get started on that. Never wants to be pulled up when I'm on the uh, video, so. All right, so here we go. So grab our warm-ups here. I'm going to pull them up to the, oh, is this the right week? Oh, yeah, whoops. Okay. Sorry, up. I was talking because the mic was not working right. Okay. But fix out of it and reboot it. Yes, I would say. I just want to tell you that. Thank you. Hey, Ms. Zepka. Yes. Are we doing lunch hours too? Yes. Okay. Just yep, making so sure. Yep, you got lunch after this. Good question. It's always good to know. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. You got two minutes. Time has started. Be right back. I'm going to let my dog. You're not presenting if if you're supposed to be. She'll be right back, Logan. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm sure she'll start the timer over again since she's not presenting. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody okay? Um, you're not presenting, so they can't do the warm up. Oh, sugar muffins. <laughs> Dang it all. All right, let me try that one more time. Here we go. Okay, there we go. How long does it take the fontanelles to close? Sorry about that. Uh, what are the fontanelles again? Uh, look on your last set of notes. Remember, it doesn't have to be correct. You just have to give me a good educational guess. It has something to do with the baby's head. Ten seconds. If you need a little more time, I can maybe give that to you. Since I didn't present my screen. However, it is in Google Classroom. Just saying. 
All right. You keep writing if you need to. I'm going to set up for what we need to do today. All right. So um, I have some notes for you. Um, trying to look at deadlines here. So yesterday, your creative story was due for your labor and delivery, your review sheet. Um, the reason I have that due tomorrow, and I should have this due tomorrow too, because of the um, in-person kids or the virtual kids. So I'm gonna extend that to the 26th. So you just got a couple extra days if you needed it on that. Okay. So I'm going to open up. Oh, it is open. Okay. So the guided notes for this unit, the newborn or infant guided notes, you need to open that and fill things out as we go through them. And then I think we'll probably get to this article today on jaundice. So I'm going to just assign that. Um, and see if we get through it, get to it or not. If not, then I'll adjust the deadline, but I just want it to get open so I don't have to go back to it. Okay, so let's go to our guided notes. We're gonna go through some uh, information today and we'll have an assignment. Uh, there might be a video or two. So um, that's kind of where we're headed today. And is there anyone that can't find the guided notes? Just put in the chat there. And then I can see that you need assistance. Are we good? Hi, Azaria. I didn't see you. Come in. Rachel, you little sneaky devil, you. I see you too. Okay, so we're all good. You guys found your notes and we're good to go. Yes, I will. I'll do that right now, real quick. Let me do that. Supersonic. All right, they're off to you. Okay. Of course, the dogs wouldn't come in when I went out there, and now they're sitting there barking again. <laughs> God. Story of my life. All right, here we go. We'll just let them bark. All right. So uh, this next unit will be on uh, the first year. Um, and so we'll start going over just some basic things. I'm going to just quickly run through Abgar again. Um, this will kind of get us going for the mechanical babies or what we call real care babies. Um, I know of right now that one that works, I'm still um, kind of going through the other three that I have to see if they're functional. And I would like to start that in the new nine weeks. So we have nine weeks to complete it. It's only gonna be for the kids that are virtual. And um, that's something that you'll have to decide if that's something you want to do. If not, there'll be an alternative assignment. Um, so it'd be one or the other, and we'll talk more about that when it gets closer, okay? But just kind of be putting that in the back of your mind as something that's up and coming. And I'll probably assign the babies out on weekends. So you have like, you know, Friday after school, Saturday, Sunday, you'll bring it back Monday, okay? So that's just kind of how it plays out. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Ms. Zepka, did you say the babies are only going to be for the virtual learners or the in-person? Oh, sorry. In-personal. I think I did okay. say virtual. Yeah. in -person. right. Yep. That's, that's a little whoopsie. Yep. For in-person only. Yep. Okay. So here we go. On the first year, you should have your guided notes ready. And um, here we go. All right. So an infant is birth to one year. Uh, the exact moment of birth occurs when the fetus, having left the uterus through the cervix, passes through the vagina to emerge fully from its mother's body, and this begins an infant's life. Um, some things that I wanted you to know that aren't in my notes are when the baby's head is birthed, uh, they're going to suction the mouth and nose immediately. 
They are going to put silver nitrate in the eyes just in case the baby picked up anything bacterial coming down the birth canal. The father will cut and clamp the umbilical cord. Um, I always forget one. Silver nitrate, suction, cut. There's one more. I'll think of it and then I'll come back to it. But those are the three I can remember right now. <laughs> okay, moving on. In most cases, newborns auto automatically make the transition from taking in oxygen via the placenta to using their lungs to breathe air. Most newborns spontaneously cry, which helps them to clear their lungs and breathe on their own. So when a baby cries, we look at that as something good, beneficial. Um, we don't, you know, hope that our babies cry, but that is when the baby's born, that just tells us that they're breathing on their own and um, they're not happy about what's going on, but we are ecstatic because we know that that shows that they're probably a healthy baby. Okay, and then just, this is just a real quick re recap on Abgar. So just remember that it was a woman that invented the scale that's used. It measures um, a variety of indicators to determine whether the baby's in good health or not. So remember that each letter of her name represents um, part of the test score. So remember that uh, appearance for the color, the pulse for the heart rate, the grimace showing reflex or irritability, activity, muscle tone, and respiration, the effort it takes them to breathe. And I believe that's something you'll have to write in, so I'm gonna give you a second to do that. And I'm gonna think about my num number four on this. Hmm. And then if you if I go too fast, just either put in the chat and Miss Gray will let me know. Or you can unmike and just say, hey, can you go back or can you wait a second? And then I can do that for you. Okay, so newborns have overly large heads that are disproportionate to the size of their bodies. So their heads are like 25% of their total length, wider and uh, total length wider than their chest. And you really have to support a baby's head because they don't have any neck muscles to be able to do that. Um, so their head is um, very heavy and big. Uh, cheeks, they seem to be kind of plump. Their nose is kind of short and flat, and that kind of helps with breastfeeding. Uh, this, usually, us this unusual appearance is a result of the fetus trip through the birth canal. I'm gonna click, is there anyone that wants me to wait? Okay. I don't see anything in the chat. All right, sounds good. Okay, so there's something called molding and that is the misshapen or pointy head due to the baby being squeezed through that birth canal. So this is, this is what happens when um, a female is delivering vaginally. I think we've talked about this where they kind of look like they have a cone head and you're worried that 
it's not going to go away and it will it's called molding their their head is being shaped in the way that it's needing to get out of the birth canal and we call that molding Okay, then this was, uh, I think it was Logan's question about fontanelles, and I knew I was going to go over it, so that's why, one of the reasons I didn't give you the answer. Uh, Diamond-shaped opening in the skull covered by a thick layer of skin, we call it a soft spot. Um, when you see an infant, you can actually see the pulse pulsating right here on the top of their head where their um, soft spot is. It's kind of weird. <laughs> to see that. Um, it does take about four months for the rear fontanelle to close, so they actually have a fontanelle on the back, and uh, nine to 18 months for the front fontanelle to close. So that's why you got to be so careful with the baby uh, because those, you know, like we, our heads, our skull is completely covering our brain, and um, it's, pr it's protecting it, but the a baby doesn't have all that protection until, you know, nine to 18 months uh, after birth. So that's why, you know, really um, keeping the head safe is really, really important. Anybody need this? Azaria, are you are you needing this at all? No, I'm good, but I have a question. Yes. Could you go to the molding one because my computer died like in the middle of it and I just got back on to take a picture. Oh, there you go. Okay, and remember thanks. too, I'm recording this as well, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll put that on the live stream when um we get done today. Okay, so then we have um, ways to kind of, remember your baby has been in the womb for nine months. It likes that warm, confined area. It, you know, it's comforting to them, at least when they're first born. And so they usually swaddle the baby. And it's an art of snuggling, uh, snugly wrapping a baby in a blanket for warmth, comfort, and security. And so I'm going to show you a little video on a nurse swaddling an infant so that you can see what that's like. And maybe when we get our mechanical babies out, you'll have to show me that you can swaddle. We'll see. Okay, so hold on, because I gotta go back in, you know, and get out of the presentation to then add the other presentation. <laughs> so it's like a little song and dance I'm doing over here. All right, here we go. So let me know if you can't see it or hear it. And otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and play it. What makes Discovery Plus the greatest collection of real life entertainment on the planet? Do the math. Whee! 55.
Okay, so that's how you swaddle the baby. And then um, jaundice is a yellowish tinge. The body is breaking down extra red blood cells. And so we are going to do a little reading on this and an assignment. So if you go to Google Classroom and you go to jaundice article, read and answer questions, so um, here is the article link right here. So you just link onto that. And then uh, use article, not Google, and put things in complete sentence, uh, sentences. And then highlight your answers. There's eight questions um, about this. So like the first one says, I think my baby's skin looks a little yellow. Is this normal? So if I go to the article, Right here, I think my baby's skin looks a little yellow. Is this normal? And then just kind of read through here and then uh, go back to your questions or have two screens open at once and then answer that question, okay? So I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes or so to do that and then I'll check back in with you. Questions on what I'm asking you to do? <laughs> exactly, Logan. All right, so nobody has questions. All right, so let's, if you need more time, you know I'm always open to giving it to you if you need it. But let's go ahead and start reading that article. And you got 10 minutes. See if you can complete it in that amount of time. And I'll check in with you at, after the 10 minutes are up. If you have questions, put it in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I Miss Gray is commenting about her granddaughter and uh yeah, I, I completely agree with that. What is your question without the question part? I'm confused.
Two minutes. How are you guys doing? Do you think you need a little more time? Azaria, will you tell me where you are? Um, I'm finishing up. Okay, thank you. Okay, so put in the chat, um, if you need more time, just put me, M-E, if you need more time. Like Jordan, Caitlin, Michael, if you guys need more time. Okay, five minutes. That I can give. Okay, so we'll reconvene at probably right around 1130. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, good.
You got a minute. Oh my goodness. Miss Gray, do you want me to send you the um, Google Slides? That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I'm going to do that for um, culinary as well. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay, if you still need time to do that, you can spend the rest of the hour working on that. And then I have one other thing I'm going to have us work on. So if you go to Google Classroom, there's something called What an Infant Needs. So let's open that up. And what I want you to do is look up the cost of all these items. And then I need to know what store or site you're, you found it. And you can put that right next to it. So I'm just going to go through everything, and then if you think I missed something, I'll show you where you can add that. So we have one large box of diapers. Remember, this is an infant, so you'll need to make sure you're buying the right diapers. An infant car seat, a visit to the pediatrician, baby's first shoes, crib, sleeper pajamas, Tylenol for children, a nightlight, baby powder, a set of bottles that includes the tops, nipples, all that stuff. Box of cereal, rice cereal is usually their first food. Juice, infant vitamins, crib mobile, set of safety plugs for outlets, a height chair, set of onesies. A receiving blanket is the one you can swaddle with. Toys, baby lotion and baby bath, a book, can of formula. A diaper bag. Uh, draft laundry soap is without chemicals because some uh, detergents. Uh, if you have, if you wash the baby's clothes in that, they can cause a reaction on the baby's skin and irritate it. So draft is a form of laundry detergent that's not going to hurt or harm your baby's skin. Stroller, and then a total. And then I gave five extra blanks for anything that you think I should add. Like one thing I would probably have here is a um, thermometer. Uh, they have, you know, the ones that you can just basically, you know, the ones when my kids were growing up, they put them in the ear. But nowadays you can just kind of, you know, buy one and hold it up against the skin. Um, but I think that's an important thing that I would I would add to my list. Um, and maybe you can think of some more in your research as you go through. But I want you to work on this the last 20 minutes and just, you know, Google search it. What's the cost? Where did you find it? Either give me the link or the store. And then go through the list. And then anything that I missed that you think is important, make sure you put here. Questions you have for me while you're doing some research on baby items, anything. Okay, so the you can either finish up your jaundice article and get that turned into me, um, or you can work on the baby um, supplies that are important when a baby is gonna be coming home from the hospital and we need to know what it's gonna cost us to purchase all that stuff. Questions? Anybody have questions for me? Okay, so that's where we're going to be going. I'm gonna be right here if you have questions or you can't find something, let me know, and I will help you locate it.
This is great. Have you had to buy um, diapers lately? Yep. Um, I just bought a box of 156 or 68 or something. I can't remember. And it was $40. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, how long do you think that'll last? Um, <laughs> not long enough. Um, <laughs> Probably a couple weeks. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Yeah. So how, then, how often do you change her? Um, probably every couple hours. Yeah, probably yeah. three, four hours. So Just you would say you probably go through six a day, maybe seven? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Depends All right. on how um, productive she is during the day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you mentioned the Dreff laundry soap. That um doesn't last very long either when they um puke all the over, time. What well, yeah, that and when they overflow their diapers a lot and oh, stuff like yeah. that. You're constantly washing clothes and spray and <laughs> wash and get the stains out and yeah. Yep. Yep. I hear that. Okay. Good to know. Good information. Rachel, did you finish? What did you say? Did you finish? Yep. 
Okay. Do you want me to tell you what we're doing next? Yes, please. Okay. So look at your screen. I'll show you. Okay, so in Google Classroom, there's something called a few things baby needs. And what you're going to do is go through all of these things that the baby needs and Google search them at different department stores and tell me what the cost is. And I want the store, like if you link the store here or you can just say Walmart. And then anything that you think is important that we missed in our 25 items here, you can put those items as well and then the cost. And then I need a TC, which is the total cost. Okay, so that's kind of what we're working on right now. Questions? Nope. Okay, so have fun doing some little research on baby stuff. Do I still need to be in here? Um, as long as you're working on um, parenting stuff, you can work here or there. It doesn't matter.
Anybody have any questions? How you doing? What's the one thing that you've looked up that surprised you so far? On the um, items. The baby needs a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it does need a lot of stuff. Have you priced anything? Can you give me a price on something? You can put it in the chat too. Anything you can tell me about the things you've looked up and the prices of them? Anybody? Jordan, Azaria, Rachel, price of something? Um, a large box of diapers was $68. Oh my gosh. What were you going to say, Michael? I was going to say, uh, what uh, babies wear when they're like infants? You know, like oh, the onesies. Yeah, they're like yeah. Not ten dollars. Yeah, those are those are probably pretty reasonable. I'd say the baby shoes are like sixty five bucks. <laughs> what are you buying, Nike? I just looked up some regular pair of shoes. Like it was just like all white ones, I think. I was like, whoa. Oh my goodness. That sounds like highway robbery to me, unless the baby's got something wrong with its foot and it needs something special. You can pick up like little booties and things like that. But I guess, you know, maybe when they're walking, they could be more expensive just because they're, you know, specific for baby walking. It's possible, I suppose. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you out, and um, I can't wait to see you again on Monday in person. Yeah. Take care so, of yourselves. We don't have fifth hour in five minutes, right? You don't. You have lunch, and your fifth hour is at uh, 1225. Okay. Yep. Have a good weekend, everyone. Yep. See you guys. Bye.